What up, people? Leah here from Creative Tech Lab. We are here. We are also there. And here, yes, we're talking about multicam editing, but we're going to show you how to set that up, film it, and edit it in iMovie. Let's get into it. First and foremost, big up to everybody here that is on the platform and welcome. This is probably your first time here. This is Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. Talk a lot about run and gun videography here on the channel as well as other creative things to come. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Check the channel out, give this video a chance and then if you like it, you know what to do. All right. So multicam editing in iMovie, not always the easiest thing to do. However, I do realize, as I've mentioned before, with these iMovie tutorials, there are a lot of people from other creative disciplines that use iMovie as their primary editing platform. And therefore, you may not be able to do some of the things that you do in Final Cut Pro as easy, but there's always a workaround, kind of like I found myself in one particular situation. Just to give a sh short backstory, when I first got into the channel, my wife needed to do something for work. It was a testimonial style video and she was like, I'll just shoot it like my, with my iPhone. Everybody's doing it with their iPhone. I was like, no, I have a video channel. I have an RX100, borrowed another RX100, set up two video clips or whatever, but I was only editing an iMovie and I wanted to give that, you know, cinematic video testimonial look where if you said something really important, you switch to the other screen, which is like off to the side right there. So let's go ahead and show you how it is that we set that up here. First, I'll show you the setup and the key thing to make this whole thing work. All right, so first thing here, let me just get the iPhone going. This is my setup here, big old light dome. Um, A6400 and then I have the A7 III. Please excuse the mess in the background. But that's the setup. That's not important. Any two cameras could work. You could use um, two iPhones, a GoPro, a main camera, whatever. The cameras don't work. You just want to set them up at different angles. This one here off to the side gives me that little bit more like that's a, I have an 85 millimeter on there. Doesn't matter. Here's what matters. When you get them set up, what I typically do here, and I'm also running off-board audio, which helps me sync up even in Final Cut Pro, is I'll say main camera on, B camera on, audio on, and then the key to the entire thing is the clap. So you're gonna wanna clap three times really loud. And that's what's gonna help you sync when it is that you get into the software. Side note, that's also on a movie, important on a movie set to help them set up and sync clips in post so that they keep everything organized, but that clap is also a big deal there. So let's jump into the software and show you what that looks like in post. All right, so I'm about to jump into the software. The one thing I want to also say is that if you're running audio or just a couple of different continuous clips there, you want to just make it run as one long continuous clip. That's where you could put it all together on the timeline and then edit it as such instead of having to do, put it together multiple different times. Anyway, let's jump into the software and that would all make sense. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear those claps that it is that we detailed at the start of the video. All right, so I have my headphones on so that I can hear the clips here. I have to turn my audio up because on the A7 III I didn't have a microphone on so it was just an onboard mic so they were kind of low but anyway it could still get the job done. So the first thing you want to do here is I want to come and just see where it is that I do start to clap and listen for that. Audio on. Let's get the claps going. And then I stop it right before I clap and right where you hear that faint little click I'm going to hit I and then I'll get W to drop that onto the timeline. And I want the secondary clip to be first and then I'm gonna overlay the main clip on that and you see why in a second when it is that I'm editing. So then let's get back to here. It's going. Same thing. Right where it starts, I'm gonna hit I and then I'm actually gonna drag this one over the other one. And the main way that I could tell that both of them are playing in sync is the audio. So let me just go ahead here and play. Let's try it one more time. All right, three big claps. Now let's get into it. And now you can see if I were to turn here, here. And here, yes, we're talking about multicam editing, but we're gonna show you how to set that up even if I turn this all the way up there. We're talking about multicam editing, but we're gonna show you how to, you can hear that both of the clips are actually in sync. So the first thing that we want to do here is we want to right click on the top clips 
and detach audio. And the reason for that is when it is that you're syncing and then we could actually just um, mute the audio on the second source because we didn't need that there. All right, and then, so now I have my main clip playing and that's playing. Let's try that one more time. All right, three big claps. Now let's get into it. What up people here? All right, so this is the main clip here. Here from Creative Tech Lab, we are here. Here, we are also, and I want to make a cut right here. So I'm going to select the top clip, select B, um, sorry, Command B, and then I'm going to come and it says here, let me just delete there. And then you could see here, we are also there and here, yes. And you could see that here was a little bit, so I want to say. And I just use a trimmer to bring that back there. And here, yes, we're talking about multicam editing, but we're going to show you how to. So then you can know where it is that you want to switch back and forth between the different clips here. So again, if I wanted to just emphasize what it is I was talking about right here, I would command B on the top clip, delete it there. And then first and foremost, big up to everybody here that is this is Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. Talk a lot about run and gun videography here on the channel as well as and then if you always want to just scoot this back up, you have that there. Boom. Here on the channel as well as other creative things to come. So if this is your first time here, welcome. Check the channel out, give this video a chance. So then that's how you would do it. You just go ahead and command B and take those pieces off as you need to. Another key thing that I want to show you guys here though, is a lot of times I will mess up when it is that I'm talking. Actually, let me get the headphones back on so I could just hear. A key thing to make this whole thing work. So, all right, so perfect here. So this is a part where I actually need to cut and do a jump cut, which is acceptable here on YouTube. But in order to do this in iMovie, you need to make sure that you select all three clips. So let's see here to make this whole thing work. So, so for see, and the key thing to make this whole thing work, work. All right. So I'm going to actually just command A and do all through and select all clips there. That way I could make one big cut. So if I command B now, I cut across the top clip, the bottom clip and the audio. Come back to where I was back in frame. Boom, let's come back here and command A again, command B, command B, and then come here. I'm going to shift select the pieces that I don't want here. So just the three pieces in the middle. And then we have our jump cut. So we go from this, show you the setup and the key thing to make this whole. Right. That wasn't actually it. So to make this whole thing work. So. so all right, on the so is really where I want to be there. And then I'm going to select here, cut that off. And the key thing to make this whole thing work. So, all right, so first thing here, let me just get the iPhone going. This is my setup here. Big old light dome, um, A16. And then you could see that's how the jump cuts and stuff work. So then the only other key thing that I would, I'd mentioned there in case this is not working, you want to come over here and just make sure that you're up here. It says cut away. If you have it to split screen, that's the way that you do a split screen there. If you wanted to do a split screen there or picture in picture, if you wanted to show yourself there. But for these particular purposes here, we want to do cut away. That way it cuts away to the exact thing there. And you could just make your cuts on the top piece to let it go. And then you have your audio on the bottom. And that's how you do multicam here in iMovie. So yeah, that's that. That's that easy. It's not um, super easy. It's still not super complicated for a free software. It's still very awesome. I'm actually going to do a follow up video to this one in Final Cut Pro because it's way easier to do in Final Cut Pro. If it is that you're actually going to be doing a lot of multicam editing, that would probably be one of the recommendations I would say to go ahead and graduate from iMovie to Final Cut Pro. But there is actually a little glitch in Final Cut Pro that I'm going to detail for you guys next, maybe even later later today or probably tomorrow. Whenever this video is out, link up here. Anyway, 
If this video helps you out in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and drop it a like as it helps the channel out and helps us to create more content. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, do all the things that YouTubers tell you to do at the beginning and the end of videos. You know what to do. I will not ramble on. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.